Meet Heyman Bekele. He's just won a prestigious award for his invention. It's called SCTS, and that stands for Skin Cancer Treating Soap. Its main purpose is to treat minor forms of skin cancer. But perhaps most impressive, his age. Heyman is just 14. As part of 3M's Young Scientist Challenge, he came up with a low-cost soap that delivers cancer-fighting drugs via nanoparticles, which work to activate the body's immune cells to fend off cancer. The high school freshman from Virginia was four years old when he emigrated from Ethiopia. He says it was those years in his native land that inspired his creation. I actually saw a lot of people who were working long hours under the hot sun. People work really long hours in the sun, and there is no uh, awareness or any sort of information being shared around about how dangerous sun exposure really is. So then when they do end up developing issues like skin cancers, uh, it's really just incredibly difficult for them to be able to afford the uh, affordable cures. And the best part of Heyman's soap is just how affordable it is. It only costs as low as $8.50 in comparison to modern day skin cancer treatments, which the average price of skin cancer treatment is almost $40,000. His soap won him that 3M challenge, and he's been awarded $25,000, which he plans to use on helping secure a patent for the soap and to help pay for college. He's got big plans for the future. So by 2028, I actually hope to turn this bar of soap into a nonprofit organization where I can provide equitable and accessible skin cancer treatment to as many people as possible. This could change a lot of lives. Heyman is looking to conduct human testing on the soap and then eventually get FDA certification. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.